And we are less than 24 hours away from the gates opening for the first time this season at the Saratoga Racetrack. From WNYC, Albany, News Channel 13, live at noon begins right now. Good afternoon, I'm Asa Stakel. By this time tomorrow, the 151st season of racing in Saratoga will be ready to get underway. The gates will be open, the backyard will be filled with families, and the horses will be ready to run the first race at 1 o'clock. This year is the earliest starting day for racing. There will still be 40 racing days, but now two dark days a week instead of one. And John Craig has been in Saratoga all morning long, and he joins us now. John, good afternoon. Hey, good afternoon, Hey, so pick a card, any card. This is just a fraction of what you can find around town. Of course, we know about the racing season, and now it's a extended time, but there are going to be those dark days, so we took a stroll. Here's a guide. On the Oklahoma track, the horses are getting their early morning workout. Across Union Avenue, the picnic tables are being put into place, awaiting the arrival of the spa fans ahead of the longest meet ever at Saratoga. And a few blocks away, the sidewalk's getting quite a workout too with a power washing. Some are enjoying breakfast, some are walking their dog. Even the rival beer trucks are unlocked and unloaded for the anticipated crowds and vacationers. Downtown Saratoga is one of my favorite places to go in general around here. It feels like a vacation in my own hometown. The track will have dark days Monday and Tuesday, so plan accordingly. Here are a few ideas for the tourists, or if you want to be a tourist in your own town. SPAC has scheduled more shows on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday nights. There's the allure of the legendary Cafe Lena. Just down the road is the Malta Drive-In, a destination since 1949 with two screens, plus all the fixings. If you're looking for a little quiet or reflection in the spa city, how about High Rock Park? It's a tribute to 9-11 with girders from that terrible day. And from days gone by, the New York State Military Museum on Lake Ave usually closed Sunday and Monday because of the track schedule. It will be open Mondays from now through August 26th. If you have ducklings or better yet kids, there's the carousel at Congress Park and just around the corner, the Children's Museum of Saratoga, usually for kids up to eight years old. So we see families come in and all of a sudden now parents or caregivers, grandparents are on their hands and knees, you know, playing along with them or they're in the theater dressing up. There's so much to see in Saratoga and, um, you know, I always love when friends come to visit so that we can be out and about in the town. Hey, back now live outside the visitor center. We just touched on a very fraction of uh, things you can do, especially over these eight weeks. I'm sure they'll tell you that. Of course, I'm reminded of the Museum of Dance. Uh, you got Yado Gardens, the Automobile Museum. Uh, don't forget the library. Plenty of golf, either at Saratoga National, Saratoga Lake, Saratoga State Park. Uh, bowling, if it rains, hey, get over there to the bowling alley. Absolutely. Plenty of other things to do. Uh, and you should start right here at the visitor center. It all starts tomorrow, though, with the running of the fans at 7 a.m. Asa, I'll see you there. I'll right see here. you there, John. John, all over the spa city and so much to do in Saratoga Springs. Thank you, John.